Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing Nashville, Tennessee, and like a beautiful Phoenix Leotologist, I have risen from the fire and the flames that I found at the bottom of that blaze-infested abandoned mine shaft, although I guess the blazes didn't exactly abandon it, and I'm going to make another pass at this map. I am going to endeavor to do the best that I can to complete it. I know a lot of you guys think it's kind of funny that I died last time, which it is. It is actually, in fact, hilarious that I died last time. But I didn't commission. I didn't ask Vet just to make this to for me so that I could die immediately and then give up. I did it because I wanted to win. And let's be honest, it's way more fun to watch me try and win than to watch me give up immediately. I think this is west. I think the sun set over here. Yeah, that's right. And so we are going to sail westward rather than eastward this time, try and find a suitable place to land the ship, and make camp. Now, one thing that I'm thinking I'm going to try and do this time is before I start really adventuring, I'm going to try and get a decent supply of armor going on. I've heard that there is normal ore distribution in Lethamir, so I should be able to find iron and diamond just lying around inside of stone. Not that that's exactly lying around, you know, like when Han Solo was all inside the carbonite, he was more, I don't know, I wouldn't say chilling out. Is there a word for, like, chilling out but with a more metallic type feel to it? Like he was meddling up? Yeah, meddling up does not sound like relaxing or inactivity, but it's what I'm looking for. Yeah, there is just iron down there in the stone, meddling it up. And I will... Okay, I seem to be outside the range of the storm. So we seem to be at the edge of a vast desert. Vast deserts are notable for being resource poor and not great places to make camp your first night. So we are going to continue along the shore. Okay, wait, what's that over there? Something beautiful and exciting? No, it is just a little bit of reeds. Not the most exciting thing. You know, when they say, reading, it's fun, you'll broaden your horizons, they're not talking about those. I mean, this is more like sugarcane, and you know what they say, sugarcane, it'll deaden your mind. And suddenly I'm getting back into storming territory, apparently, which is less than ideal. I didn't know you could even have lightning when you were beyond the range of the rainstorm. That's kind of news to me. Not that this is a great place to put in, but... Huh. Yeah, that offers me no shelter, though. And, of course, the creepers are immediately after me. So, I will come back for that, I think. But it's good to note it's there. Is there a pyramid out there in the desert? Yeah, there does appear to be a pyramid out there. So, I will have to hit that up later. Looks like I'm turning a corner here, finally. Still nowhere super desirable to put in for the night. I can't tell what time it is because of the cloud cover. Although the sky is red at the edge, so I think it's about to be sunset. Which is not ideal. I would really like to have the sun. But yeah, that pyramid looks super exciting. But I'd love to find... Oh, yay! We are going to have a brief moment of clarity. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely a pyramid there. There's definitely a million mobs on shore that are just waiting to be on fire. But I know that once the sun sets, this is going to be their land again. And it will not be made for you and me. Pyramid entrance at the base. Good to know. Let's, like I said, this is maybe not the best place to put in. At least there's not those stupid lily pads this time. Oh my goodness, those were the worst bitches. Oh, hey, that appears to be lit up over there. Let's go see what that is. Zoom button. Hard to tell. Definitely lit, though. Not a prominent enough structure to offer us any... Oh, wait, hey, there's a structure, too. Nothing's close enough to the shore here to really offer me a... Great respite from the creatures, though. 
Because, like, even if I run over to that light, I have no assurance that it's an actual, like, shelter, if you will. I need something to hang out in overnight. I don't need a, like, oh, hey, that's a neat thing to look at. Oh, no, I've been creepered and lost my life already. That's interesting. There appear to be, like, frozen creeks and stuff along the edge here. So this apparently is the northern hinterlands of the map. And I should really not be getting that close to shore. Oh, hey, is this another shipwreck? Awesome. We're going to explore a shipwreck, and not the one that I came from in the first place. Yay. I hope there's blazes inside so I can water hit them. Okay, this looks like the perfect, like, starting house or something. This is incredibly awesome looking. Oh, there are chests with cannon-making materials in there. I bet. I mean, that's the standard Vitch's chest like boat thing let's go check this out uh first off let's try and get up to the crow's nest and scout out sometimes he leaves sniper chests on top of those so let us see what he has provided us it's also possible we'll be able to see other landmarks from here okay maybe not that part but oh yeah there's water whoosh crafting tables dang it i was hoping for chests Oh, that's interesting. There's uh, cannons in here that are just inactive. I'm guessing that the redstone's all washed off, yeah. No redstone on there. Are there doors in here that I can look in? Let's uh, poke back up to the surface real quick. And drop down again. So, it seems like there's a big hole right here. That might be the cause of the damage to the ship, actually. Or the sinking of the ship. I guess I could repair this and hollow out the water by putting, filling it with sand or something. Okay, so no chests in here so far. That I can see, anyway. Whoops, that was a mistake. Let's go ahead and drop down below to the next deck. Down here. And kind of prepare this axe. In we go. What do we got here? Bunch of sand. Okay, so... Oh, here we go. What is this? That is some sort of stair glitch. Furnaces. Uh-oh, we need air. Okay. Whole bunch of furnaces with nothing in them. That is indeed lamentable. How is there brick at the bottom of this? What kind of ship has brick bottom? Oh! A ship with a fleecy box in it. That is totally the coolest thing. Also, how is this water not coming down there? Excellent. So we have actually di discovered the lime wool in our very first day. Uh, this is so far way better than last time. We've recovered some wool. We didn't die. I'm really enjoying this one a lot. Oh, hey, are these all chests? Okay, this Lethemir run, I'm looking forward to way more. I'm already like a million times more successful. Look at all this loot. Okay, I've got to say, this is an incredibly exciting haul. From those chests, I got enough stuff to really start me out on my adventure. If I find an enchanting table, I'll already have 55 bottles of enchanting. I've got armor. I've got food. I can start my own melon farm. This is a dream. I would always love to be a melon farmer. But it almost, you know, never happens in real life. I have to, you know, do other things. But anyway, from way up here on the crow's nest, we can see a good distance out. And it looks like we're just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Everything is so, so far away. No real signs of civilization from here. But you know what? We're in a good spot. We're well suited to continue our quest for the wool and to reclaim Jurassic Park from those who freed the mobs and shut off the electric fences. So, 
Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.